Okay, you guys, I let this, did I let it? I don't know. This still totally slipped up on me for the last, I don't even know how many years I've done videos on this dang Sephora Beauty Insider VIB Rouge sale, whatever. All three levels can shop this year, really cool. Um, it's when I start my holiday shopping, when I kick it into gear. So it's crazy that this kind of snuck up on me. It's crazy that Halloween is over. It's come and gone and now it's like, we're kind of gearing up into the holiday season and I really love it. And I really, um, UPS just drove down the street in a golf cart. Again, that's when you also know it's Christmas, when UPS starts coming into your neighborhood loading up golf carts, like with trailers. Do you, you guys know what I mean? Uh, but it is kind of shocking. Like I, I just, I literally realized the sale was happening like two days ago. And so I have been filling up my cart. I'm gonna show you guys what is in my cart that I'm going to purchase on Friday, November 3rd, when the roost Rouge sale starts. This is Thursday. I'm going to try to get it up tonight, so tomorrow um, is when it starts. So I'm going to be placing a, a big order, and I'm going to show you guys what I have in my cart. I'm going to give you guys some of my recommendations, some of my go-to Sephora things, my biggest tips on shopping this sale, which is huge to me because Sephora really never has sales. <laughs> so when you can shop this sale, which is an annual thing, which, like I said, I should have known better. I don't know. My mind is just like all over the place, everywhere else, but I I just, I let it slip up on me, I really did. So, um, anyways, okay, this year all three levels can shop, like I mentioned, so VIB Rouge, you're gonna get to shop from November 3rd through the 6th. Okay, Rouge only. I'll put the code, I'll put everything below, Rouge members get 20% off, which is great. So Rouge members get kind of that early little time to shop. Now, so for this, so that ends on the 6th. Okay, so from the 6th through the 10th, really there's no sale going on, so don't shop during that time. 10th is the big day when everyone can shop. Rouge members, you can shop again, you can place as many orders as you like. I know everybody always has that question. You can always shop as many times as you like. It is not an individual code with like numbers. It's literally um, a code for every level of person. And there's there's three codes and I'll put it below. But you know, they you can't like use a rouge code if you're a regular beauty insider, you know what I mean? Because you're signed in, they know what level your account is, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can shop as many times as you want. I usually end up like going back for something else because like I said, this is the time when I'm like, you know, really gearing up for holiday shopping. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm gonna add one more gift or do, you know, one more thing, so. So the 10th, everyone can shop. Rouge VIB Beauty Insiders, Rouge and VIB are gonna get 20% off and regular Beauty Insiders are gonna get 15% off. People are saying this is the first time that Beauty Insiders, just the regular Beauty Insiders, have ever been able to shop this sale. I disagree because I have been a Beauty Insider since the very beginning before they even had like levels and stuff. Um, well, maybe that was what it was. I think there was like a VIB, Rouge didn't exist. But I swear to you, I remember having, you know, pe different, you know, whatever. Okay. I feel like Beauty Insiders shopped before. Whatever. Anyways, they're making a big deal about it, but it's just a nice time to save on things that normally don't go on sale. So, like I said, a lot of my things that I love are exclusive to Sephora. There's some different things that I'm just, like, really thrilled about. And um, I'm just going to, like, share it all with you. And like I said, I know that you're probably focused on the details of this sale. You might have some, like, questions running through your mind. Just enjoy the video, everything will be below. I'll have the dates, I'll have the codes, I'll have the link for you to shop, everything's down there, and I'm gonna link everything that I have suggested below as well. But we're gonna go through it, I'm gonna kinda tell you all my, all my things that I suggest. Okay, so, first and foremost, I would always say, and I mentioned this a little bit, um, stock up, things that you normally, you know, you go through. My Bosch Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil, you can see I have just a little bit left, and this is pretty much just sold at Sephora, I believe. Um, my skincare, I have talked about my skincare so many times that I will probably just link it all below, but um, my Lancer scrub, it's pretty expensive, so it's nice to get that at a discount. This um, Kate Somerville Benzoyl Peroxide Cream, my skincare, my pads, all this stuff like keeps your skin crazy clear, which I'm gonna talk about something um, in a moment about that. This I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I have another one, so I probably won't be repurchasing this, but if you missed out, if you love this moisturizer, the moisture surge like I do, and you missed out on that big mama sale during the, during the um, anniversary sale, um, you may want to pick up one of these. So instead of using the Moisture Surge Intense, which is like the more intense version, that that's just like the regular gel one. I use that one at night. I love it. I like pack it on. Um, I have been searching for a moisturizer with SPF in it for, I want to say like forever, that doesn't break me out, that makes my skin nice, that's not sticky, that doesn't look gross. 
and I found it. And surprise, it's Clinique. I don't know. I, I just, I love their moisturizers. I love their foundations. This, if you guys remember, earlier in the month, I had a breakout. Oh, not a breakout. It was just one, like literally one. Like my, my skin, I can tell if I'm using something different or if something different is changing um, or if a product is breaking me out, I'll get those little white milia bumps. They'll come up on my forehead where my skin is pretty thin. They'll come up here where I produce oil. Um, sometimes a little bit here. Nothing perfect, no pores, like everything's great, but I had this one zit and I think it was um, definitely like hormone related. It went away and all is fine. That came up before I started using this and since using this for about a month, my skin has been really, really nice and I have been loving it. So it's the Clinique Even Better Skin Tone Correcting Moisturizer with SPF 20. And you know, I wanted to start using something that has like, um, like that Even Better line that has, you know, that's kind of corrects your spots and you know like any hyperpigmentation from acne which is huge for me which most of mine has gone away um, I do have this little spot here that will just never go away because I had a zit there like a few years ago and it just like stayed like the color like it's gone but the color just stayed there because my skin is so fair that is fading it's insane and that has been the same for years I have like a few little sunspots. I don't know. I'm going to see if it helps, but I really, really love it. And I love that it's a moisturizer with SPF that's not doing anything funky to my skin. So that's great. Something that I would say to kind of like repurchase is Beauty Blender. But if you're like me and you've like hoarded them up, I don't know what happened. So many fun little sets came out. I have so many Beauty Blenders. It's, it's embarrassing, but there is a set that is not total junk. Some of these sets that come out, it's like you get the mini little cleanser, you get all these things. It's like, was it really worth it? Okay, there is a Beauty Blender set that is worth it and so much more. It's like a set that's like, um, it's kind of like, you know, a year's worth of Beauty Blenders. I think you get four and then you get this little thing. It's a glass little um, thing to set it in. And I always say, don't buy anything special. Don't buy the little one that has the hot pink jewels all over it, unless if that's your vibe and that's what you want. But it just felt so cheap to me. It was so just weird. I can't even believe that I spent money on that. You have to sit your beauty blender in something. I like this because it's glass. You can wash it. Um, this is something you could literally have forever, and it comes in that set, which is really nice. A lot of times I just say save the little tube that the Beauty Blender comes in, and you can just sit it on that. But I think that's very sweet. I will link to that specific set below. Like I said, it is very, very, very worth it. Okay, something exciting. Okay, should I get into the things that's in my cart, or should I just kind of... Let me make some more suggestions um, based on things that I already have. Okay, so um, I always say pick up fragrance because it's pretty rare to find, like, a sale on fragrance, you know, even like at a department store or something, like you're never gonna, do, do you see what I mean? That's, it's kind of rare. If you are looking for a perfume recommendation, these are my four, my top, top four that are sold at Sephora. The Chanel Low, number five, I have just loved this so much. This would make an amazing gift. I think nobody's gonna not enjoy getting a bottle of Chanel. That's just such a classic, beautiful gift. And this one's a little younger, a little fresher. It's a very clean smelling fragrance. I think most people would really love it. The Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. They have been selling Jo Malone for a little while there, although not a super long time. So it is a fairly, fairly recent addition. The Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It's my favorite, and I think, again, it's a scent that anyone would love. It's not super polarizing or like, blah, it's not like super old smelling or young smelling or fruity or musky. It's just a very fresh scent that I think anyone would love. Um, this, the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, this is something that is just kind of always a go-to of mine that I have. It's just kind of a very perfumey smelling perfume. It reminds me of like Liz Claiborne from the 90s, or I always say it's a little cheaper smelling, but I like it. Um, but, but nice. I don't, I don't want to say it's cheaper smelling, but it's nice. This is a good one. If someone really likes florally, like very feminine perfume, I love that. I, I just, it makes me feel so good when I use that. I just love it. And then this one I love so much. Um, this is probably one of the most unique scents I've ever owned. It is the Replica Lipstick On, and it's supposed to smell, it says like night blush, rice powder, I've, we've, we've talked about this at length. It smells like Dr. Pepper lip smackers, a little makeup-y, that kind of waxy makeup smell, which I'm sure you're like, barf, like, why would I want a perfume that smells like that? You really do. It smells so good. I just love it. And it's kind of like my sweet smelling fragrance that I have in my collection that I can layer. You know how sometimes I, I've said this before, again, like we talked about this at length several months back when I found that, but for years I've been trying to find the perfect, just sugary, sweet smelling 
perfume that I could layer with other things or that I could wear and not feel like I smell like Bath and Body Works vanilla or like sickening like just straight up like brown sugar or something. That is a sweet, um, how am I spraying it like on my finger? Uh, it's like a sweet, very sugary, very just sweet. Okay, super sweet, but um, but not sickening or not like, it doesn't overly smell like one thing, whatever. Foundations is something that you're, I mean, I'm always going through. And one thing that is exclusive to Sephora that I have talked about for years that I really love is this. It's the Clinique Acne Solutions BB. Don't let it scare you that it says Acne Solutions. It does not have salicylic or anything in it. It's just, um, it just won't break you out. It has SPF 40, is that right? Yeah, SPF 40. Get a shade lighter than you think you are. It does run a little dark. Um, I use the shade light and it is just, I mean, if it was just a hair darker, I wouldn't be able to wear it. It is the most coverage, the most natural. It's very, very unique. Do not let it turn you off because it says acne solutions, but you can only get this at Sephora. And I'm definitely gonna purchase another one because um, I do go through that. Um, this is the foundation that I use. This is just my, you know you have foundations that you like, like these are my three and then I have a cushion that I really like. But this is like my, these are like my go-tos, you know what I mean? But you always have one that you just reach for more than anything else and that would be just the regular Clinique Acne Solutions, which this one does have salicylic acid in it. I just feel like it does well with my skin. It looks glowy, it's really pretty. It's not what you would expect. And then I've been using this a little bit lately. It's the Clinique Even Better, and this one has SPF 15, and this is from that Even Better line that's, you know, supposed to like even out your skin tone and stuff. What I like to do with this, I mean, this is so glowy. They even have one that's called Even Better Glow. I don't even know what that's gonna look like, because this one is glowy. If I want a glowy foundation, this is what I put on. Um, it even says that it's glowy, so the fact that they brought out one that's even more glowy is nuts to me, okay, whatever. So what I like to do is I'll use one of those, and then for my concealer, like on spots or anything, I kinda just go back with this. Sometimes I use it all over, I don't know. But those you cannot go wrong with, especially this, which is exclusive to Sephora, definitely check that out. This is cool, now this is very expensive, but it's something that I picked up around the time that I got this moisturizer as well, so I've been using it about a month. This may also be why this is fading, that little mark that I have, but it is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. This falls into the category of those things that you need to pick up during the sale that are a little more expensive that you would normally be a little hesitant of buying. So this was expensive. I was expecting, like when you see something that's called like a dark spot corrector, do you expect it to be this big? No, you expect it to be like a little treatment or something. So I was expecting it to be tiny. Now, since it's so huge, I mean, it weighs a ton, it's heavy, like it's a lot of product and you need a t the tiniest bit. Like I literally feel like I will never run out of this because I don't just put it on and like slather it all over my face. I put it on and then I just kind of put it like where I need it, which I know it'd probably be better if I put it all over. And I'm kind of like working up to that. I was just kind of seeing, you know, what it was gonna do to my skin. Um, but so far, so good. I haven't had any like, re it hasn't broken me out, it hasn't done anything. Like I said, that thing that I had, the thing that we're not gonna mention, um, it happened before I tried all this. So, I don't know. And it went away really nicely and I haven't had any more. So, here's the thing. I think this works because this little thing is going away. Now, okay, your really heavy duty stuff, like your big sunspots, or like, like I have my biggest sunspots right there. Um, and it's not bad. I don't even think most people would notice it. I mean, I, I see it because you know you, you you see when something changes on your skin. Um, I have a little bit of a shadow here and then a little bit here, um, and then I have one on my nose right there. Those are pretty um, those are pretty tough, and it might take a long time. But your acne, like hyperpigmentation, that stuff's pretty fresh and a little more superficial. And I'm not kidding you. It's going away like crazy using this, and I think that is because of this. But like I said, you know, I'd had it for years and it wasn't really going anywhere, and then when I started using this stuff, I looked at myself in the mirror the other day without makeup, and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I couldn't believe that it was that, it was at least like half of the intensity of what it was, which is nuts to me, okay, whatever. But if you're wanting to try something, try this, it honestly has the same feeling as like a moisturizer, like a little bit of a serum -y gel moisturizer. To me, it's pretty heavy to put on with a moisturizer, but I use it as my very last step after my moisturizer. I put a little bit on my finger and just dab it where I need it. Um, and then sometimes I'll put it kind of, you know, I'll get a little brave with it. But Some specific other makeup recommendations. Oh, one more thing with your skin. Two more things, actually. So this is really good. This um, unicorn 
essence. I am so weird with primers. Most things, like I said, I'm freaked out that they're gonna break me out. If they do, I can always tell here and here. And like I said, this is just perfect. I haven't had any pores, nothing. So I don't think this would ever cause any skin issues with me. But it is the Sparsali Unicorn Essence. Um, I did a video where I was kind of joking around, you know, because people make a big deal about all this pretty stuff. But I, I wonder if a lot of it works. This I actually really do like. When I put it on, I feel like my skin looks really glowy and beautiful. It's pretty on its own. It's beautiful under makeup. They do have a tiny size, like a little, if you don't want to splurge on the full size, they have a mini, which is really cool. Okay, the Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge. Try this eye cream. It is the best. So that's a lot of like favorites, a lot of things. So now we're kind of moving on to what's in my cart. Like I said, you know, if you're like me and you're gonna shop the first day of the Rouge sale, the third, um, that's great. But everyone else, you know, can't shop to the 10th, but go ahead and fill up your cart. You know, just like get it started and it's fun. And I'm gonna show you what's in mine. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back after I shop, like obviously I said I'm gonna shop on the third. Um, I should get my stuff pretty soon. I get that two-day shipping that they do for Rouge members. And then I'm going to share with you guys the actual items that I got so that we can do another video before the 10th and you guys can actually see everything. But this is actually something that is in my cart. The um, Sol Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now... This has been out for a while now. They have like different sets. They have sets of like three. They have a set that has the spray, which I never ended up buying. The scent of this is, it's magical. It's heavenly. It is like a coconut cream mixed with like a little like fruitiness. It's just a little bit of pine. It's the most beautiful scent. I love it so much. I've used quite a bit of mine. And it's supposed to be like firming and tightening has the most beautiful finish on your legs. It's not going to make you look like glittery or shimmery or crazy because I don't like a lot of superficial, like, I don't even like wearing, um, like, like, I don't like a lot of things like sitting on top of my skin. Like, I don't like, like putting, you know, like shimmer on my body or even I get very kind of bleh by self tanners. So this doesn't bother me. It has a tiny bit of just a beautiful iridescence to it. Nothing that you would even notice. I used it for a good couple months and never even noticed that it was in there. Um, try this, it's amazing. I'm gonna pick up some more for myself and some more in a gift. This is so good, you guys. It's the Kapari Coconut Melt. A lot of people swear by using coconut oil and using all kinds of different things. You can buy coconut oil at the store. I have done that before. It is different. A lot of people say coconut oil is coconut oil. It's refined differently. It can be very different. This is actually very different in the way that it feels on your skin. I have really good coconut oil downstairs and I actually, I actually compared it and it is different. So this line is um, based around coconut oil. I use this on Olivia. She's very sensitive. It's, okay, so like it's in, if you've ever used coconut oil before, it comes out like a wax almost. When you first get this though, be careful, especially if it's been traveling in the back of a hot UPS truck. Um, even if the temperature changes just by a couple degrees, it will liquefy. And um, I almost wasted a ton of it when I first got it. But the second you put it on your skin, it just turns into this beautiful, like, it's just lovely. It smells like yummy, real coconut. I mean, it smells like coconut oil, you know. All right, so let's look at my cart quickly. Um, something that I knew from right off the bat, other than all my stuff that I was, you know, going to repurchase and stuff, uh, oh, I said my shopping cart was empty. I'm like, what? No. This was the thing that I knew I was going to get. I hope that this shows up. The Anastasia Sugar Ball. Is that what it's called? Sugar, sugar Ball. Sugar Glow Kit. Now, why this is special, I've talked about this so many times. The Anastasia highlighters are like liquid beautifulness. They're a powder, but they're done really well. I hate it when you have to layer it up. You can just barely touch this and put it on and it's just like amazing. I don't like to layer up a ton of products. This is this. This color I'm obsessed with, the Starburst. Now this is a color that you can't get anymore, this Gleam. Even right after I got it, like probably over a year or so ago, I tried to link to you guys and I could never find it again. And um, it's pretty, I don't really like a lot of these other colors. I really like these two. But I was disappointed because they make these palettes where the colors come out, but then you can't buy the dang color ever again. I went to their website, I tried to buy this individual color, the Starburst, and you just can't find it. So that's what I'm wearing. And as I hit pan on it, I thought, well, let me just find something else. I kind of went to the back of my drawer. I didn't 
you know, because I knew I couldn't get it again. But this, what's so special is that this set has my beloved Starburst in it, and the other colors look really nice too. So I'm gonna get it, and um, what I might do is just like make a palette of my own and just put the colors in that I like, so. I don't know, these are just the best. I just, Anastasia powder highlighters are the best. You just cannot beat them. Okay, what else is in there? Let me see what else. Um, oh, this is the Kapari set, the coconut. So it's the coconut multitasking kit. It comes like with this little, I hope this is, I hope you're even able to see this. Come like with a little glow. I will, it comes like with this little like bronze glow. I am buying that, you saw how much I had left of that, and that's really the only product that I've tried from the line that I really like, the coconut melt. This is gonna be a gift for somebody that will love all of those things, hopefully. This is interesting, this Violet Voss stuff. Now, I have never heard of this. I was searching through the website and I found all of these beautiful eyeshadow palettes. They're $45, so obviously they'll be cheaper with a discount. This one is the most beautiful to me. It's called Taupe Notch, and all the different palettes say new on them, so maybe it's something new. Um, they seem to be getting good reviews. Well, this one only has two reviews, but there was one that had a lot of reviews that were good. A lot of beautiful natural colors. Um, but it looks nice, so that might be something cool to try. So I do have that in my cart. Oh man, my battery light turned red. I hope I don't, I hope it doesn't cut off. These lashes, okay. I, do you remember when I was really into wearing lashes? It was around this time last year. I did it around the holidays a lot. I would just do a natural look like I'm wearing now, like no eyeshadow, and then I'd put on some really pretty lashes. And I think, since I've got longer lashes, they always blend in nice. So false lashes tend to kind of look a little more natural on me. But these are the Lily Lashes. It's a set for Sephora. They're like mink lashes. They're kind of doubled up and really pretty. Um, why am I saying mink? You know, that look, faux mink. You know what I'm saying. Um, so that looked cool. I always say, if you want to try a fragrance, this is something that is expensive, but it's by Erin. Um, it's not one of those that looks like it has like a boat on top of it. I don't really like those. You know what I'm talking about? All those different colors. It looks like it's got like a canoe on top of it. This one's just in a really pretty bottle that you probably can't even see. Okay, you get the gist, right? Okay, it's so it's um it's called Garden Rose. And um sometimes I like just a really feminine, like just rosy smell. Speaking of this, the cocoa rose, I'm getting this as a gift. I know this scrub is really good. The box is really beautiful. It's just a really pretty set, but the products in it are good too. It comes with a lip balm and a face spray. No one is, there's, there's literally no one that would not like that. Um, I have another one of my eyebrow pencils, the um, Anastasia, which I have been really, really loving the Anastasia Blonde colors. Anastasia has the most colors in their line for, for brows that go light. Um, you look at my brows and you think they're not super light, you know, but I do have to wear the lightest color usually. A lot of times I was buying like the light brown or the medium brown and I'd be like, why do my brows look so heavy? I don't like filling in my brows. This, that was me for years and then I was like, Tiffany, just buy the lightest color. So I'm loving that. I love their blonde shade. This is the brow definer, the one that's kind of like angled. Um, the Clinique Moisture Overload Set. My grandma really surprised grandma. My grandma watches my videos, so she's gonna be like, what? Um, this is a pretty, I always get her Clinique sets. She loves Clinique, but she loves the moisture surge as much as I do, you know. So this is a really good set because it has all about eyes in it, which she really likes too. So surprise grandma. Um, and her birthday's right at Christmas too. Like it's the, literally a few days before. So I always get her like, so my, I might give her this for her birthday. Um, and then you have the overnight mask, which I remember her asking me about. And then it comes with the, you know, the regular stuff. This is the Sol de Janeiro, the Bum Bum Cream Set. I don't know if you're seeing this. How far back can we get? Um, I mean, it's real hard to focus something on a phone. Did we get the idea? Whatever. It's basically three of these in a pack. And um, I know my mom is going to love that. My mom likes coconut stuff. Okay, this I'm gonna grab for my dad because my dad likes kind of fresh smelling colognes. Um, over the years, he'd like, he likes some that smell a little like greener or like, you know what I'm saying? Like he likes heavier smelling colognes too, but he likes more sporty smelling stuff or things that smell like kind of fresh. So, um, I thought this was a beautiful set. It's the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue um, O Intense, so it's a little different. But I thought that was a nice little set. Just kind of add in with some of his stuff. Um, 
and then, you know, I mean, your sets are always nice, but you're getting a discount too. I never have a brush. Um, the little brush that I used to have in my purse, the handle broke off, and then I use it to do Olivia's hair sometimes because I can just like fit it in my palm. I don't know, it's always in the kitchen. Um, but this one's cute because it's one of those that has like the plasticky bristles, but then it also has like the boar bristles kind of in the middle, so you could do a good ponytail with it. But I thought this would be nice for my purse. It's a little cutesy one that's 15 bucks, and it's nice because I always need one in my purse for Olivia too. This is a cute set. It's $22, so it'll obviously be cheaper um, during the sale. It's a little mask set. It's called Beauty Unmasked. And you get, uh, you get a lot of good stuff. So you get the Basha Peel Off Black Mask, which anyone would like that. It'd be kind of fun. Um, you get one of the Sephora sheet masks, which sheet masks are kind of fun. People like that. You get a, um, ooh, the Tata Harper. I love Tata Harper mask. Um, a few things for your under eye, and then like four more. So a lot of cool things. $22, I don't think that's bad. And I think that they're, even if they're smaller, um, you don't really go through masks like, you know, you're not gonna like blow through them like very quickly because you don't use them every single day. So I think that's a very good, good for your money set. And with a discount, it'll probably be like around 20 bucks or something. I love these bucks and lip glosses and I should have said that. That's something that I would definitely recommend. Um, this is a cute little holiday one that's kind of just like, um, like a shimmery white, which I think anyone would like. It comes in a little pretty box. $16, again, you're gonna like it a discount. But I love, love, love these lip glosses. I love them by themselves. They give your lips like a pretty, like a, like a nice cooling feel. My very favorite one is Kimberly. It's a beautiful light pink that's a little bit shimmery. This set of them is $32 and you get a bunch of them. So it says perfectly plump plumping six piece mini lip collection. So you get a bunch. And um, I think that's really adorable. Yeah, did I skip around? Was that it? This I'm kind of wondering. Okay, I love Bare Minerals eyeshadows. Love them. The ready ones, you know, not the ones that are, but the ready ones, the pressed ones. This one's called The Hidden Treasure. I love it. It's got like a dark brown. It's got a black, but all these colors look so pretty. So it's in my cart, and I'm just, is it going to turn? No. I'm just not sure. I don't know. I kind of want it, though. It's $46. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Something else that I do want to show you, speaking of gifts and stuff, um, I mentioned this in a previous video where I was doing an unboxing of the MAC Holiday Too Faced Holiday. If you guys missed that, check it out. But these would make great gifts. They have two of these um, at Sephora. One of them was an Ulta exclusive one. I think it was the small one, the little planner. But this big one, this nice, um, that's not the biggest planner. Here's the box for that one. Um, this best year ever. They have both of these at Sephora. This would make such a great little holiday gift. It has Santa, it has cutesy stuff, but then the product itself is like a nice planner. You know what I mean? It's really cute. So you get stickers, you get all this cute stuff in the actual planner, but then the makeup doesn't have all that because I don't want like stickers and stuff. Like I, I like that it's just a plain palette you can take out. It says best year ever 2018. Very cute. You know, it doesn't have like Santa Claus all over it like the box. Is. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, but this is an amazing palette. I was very, very impressed with it from even the highlight and all these colors down here are wonderful. And then you get two lip products or a lip product and the Better Than Sex Mascara, which is the one that I mentioned was really, really good. So, and then, y'all, okay, whatever. I'll just talk about this too. This, if you're looking for a face spray that's not fussy, there are so many different face sprays out there. I think it kind of became a thing. Um, it became a very popular thing. Face sprays have always been kind of a thing, but I think it's become a popular thing for every single brand to make like multiples of. And I just don't think it's like that, um, like you don't need all that. This is just the very first one that I ever heard of when I was a kid. I remember thinking it was so funny when I saw this at the store. I was like, Evian face spray, that's crazy because that's a lot, you know, it was just weird. But this is my favorite. This is a big can that I keep in my bathroom. You can buy the tiny cans. Sephora has a bunch of different sets of these. I always have one in my purse. I like to spray it on my face to touch up and then kind of blot. It's just, it's, okay, don't talk while you do that. It's just the best face spray. I love it so much. It's just so refreshing. Now I look like really soaked, but no, it's just perfect. I know this was a long video, but like I said, this was basically like a multiple video in one. You basically saw all my favorite things that Sephora sells. Um, no, but you got a little peek into my recommendations. Hopefully you got some tips on how to best utilize this sale. Don't miss out. Don't let the sale end and then be like, oh, well, I need more moisturizer or I need more foundation. You could have saved 20% or 15 or however much you're going to get. Um, so again, all of the details, all of the dates, the codes, the links, everything will be below. Um, and yeah, don't just, just, 
definitely don't miss out on this. Um, I will be back before the 10th, hopefully, to kind of show you guys everything that I did buy. And um, definitely, if you're if you're a VIB or you're a beauty insider and you can't shop until the 10th, go ahead and work on your card. It's really fun. Um, you can kind of get everything together. That way you don't miss out on anything. Um, so anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Love y'all so much. I will link to everything, including what I'm wearing below. And um, I hope that y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, a wonderful time shopping the sale. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.